Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabe and today we're going to be reviewing the motion control coilover systems. Uh, I have it both on the F80M3 and the GT3. I've had them since, uh, I think on the F80 since October and then maybe December, January timeframe on the GT3. Uh, I have about 20 events on them, 20 track uh, events on them combined, I would say somewhere around there. And uh, I thought I'd give you guys my opinions, my thoughts, and hopefully... Uh, it'll help you decide if this is something that you need, something you should consider, or something you don't need at all. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Um, I want to start by saying that I'm not a mechanical engineer, and uh, I'm not a suspension tuner, so don't expect anything technical out of me. I'm not going to give you technical you know, aspects of this suspension kit, nothing like that. It's strictly subjective, how I feel, how the car feels, and go from there. So um, the car that benefited the, mo benefited the most from this coilover system was definitely the GT3. So um, from factory, PASM is extremely stiff in the front and in the rear. And uh, it gives you this feeling almost like a dive board, that the car acts like a dive board. So extremely uh, springy in the front. You hit bumps and it just kind of like feels like it's flapping around up there almost. So uh, with the MCS coilover system, you no longer feel that way. It feels almost as if you shifted the weight from the back end towards the middle of the car. Now, that may be spring rates that made it feel that way as well, but combining the two definitely changed the way the car feels. So, um, yeah, uh, the, the car's running Swift Springs as well. Both cars are running Swift Springs with the uh, MCS dampers. So, uh, yeah, one thing I've noticed is hitting bumps, hitting curbs, imperfections on the road, does not upset the chassis at all, not one bit. Um, it takes a lot to throw off the car's balance, both cars' balance, um, when hitting curbs. Even a curb like bus stop at Button Willow, you can hit that thing and, and come out, come, you know, off the ground. And when you come landing, it's very plush. It's almost like you hit something with a trophy truck. If you can imagine a trophy truck hitting dunes at, uh, or whoops at, you know, 80, 80 to 100 miles an hour through the desert, just skimming over the top of them, that's exactly how it feels driving on MCS on a track. So it's just, it's incredible the way it feels. Um, and, th you know, there's a reason um, that, you know, guys with cup cars are swapping their, their OEM suspension for MCS stuff, you know. Um, it's just that good. It's, it's really damn good. So uh, specifically for the F8X chassis, OEM dampers seem to be extremely harsh when uh, you hit any curbs or bumps um sport plus mode seems to be excessive when, when especially when you hit bus stop you know you come down on that and uh, the co car is no longer predictable with mcs totally predictable totally 100 percent comfortable comfortable with what the car is going to do uh, i'm aware of everything going on and uh can take that pretty easy at, in a very aggressive manner same with the gt3 so um it definitely changes the way the car, the, the car handles, uh, the characteristics of it for the, for the better. So, uh, and then also being able to, you know, go to the track, adjust your settings to whatever, um, settings you have, uh, for your track setting. Sorry, I'm saying setting way too much, but, um, going home, I just turn the knobs all the way down, all the way down, rebound and compression drive home on that and it feels like I'm driving an S-Class. It's amazing. So uh, you get this dual characteristic of your car. Um, I mean, that you can get with electronic dampers like PASM and EDC, but not as good as this, not nearly as good. So um, if you're doing anywhere from 6 to 12 track days a year with the intention on tracking more, like if you like tracking and you, you want to get into it more, you definitely need to look into MCS suspension. And uh, I'm not saying ball out on the three-way or the two-way. You can get the one-ways, and it's just it's the same damper. It's the same exact thing. Um, you're just getting no adjustability from it. You're only getting one way, um, which is not a big deal. I got a buddy, Eric, who has an M2 comp. He ran one-ways for the longest time. This guy was setting 153s all day at Button Willow. So, uh, you know, you can definitely uh, extract... Uh, some serious gains out of these coilovers, even if you get the one ways. So that's not a big deal. You can, uh, obviously pricing depends on the car, so I won't even dive into that. Um, but you know, it is priced on the higher side and you do get what you pay for. 
Um, but uh, yeah, if you're a track rat, it's a no brainer. If you're a guy who's just hitting canyons and maybe one or two track days out of the year, I don't think this is necessarily worth your money. Um, I think the OEM dampers will be just fine on both cars for, for the one or two times you'll actually test the car. Um, but yeah, yeah, I hope I, uh, helped you guys figure out if this is something that you'd be interested in. Um, if I didn't cover anything, if I didn't talk about anything or missed a question that you had, please drop in the comment section below. I'm sure I did. Uh, I've only been talking for five and a half minutes, so it's been pretty fast, but, uh, overall, my experience has been great. The durability of these coilovers is amazing. You'll bend a wheel, you'll bend a tie rod, a control arm, you'll bend anything and everything before you actually blow a shock out uh, with MCS coilovers, which is awesome. It's pretty impressive. And not only that, uh, these guys stand by the product. And, and um, usually the shops that sell you these products are very quick to uh, repair the shock, take the shock back and give you a new one. Or, uh, you know, just just be extremely helpful in whatever situation you have. I mean, and that's the type of stuff you'd want to uh, to hear specifically because you're paying a lot of money for these products. Um, and, you know, it's it goes a long way knowing that if I blow out a, a damper on my, you know, eight thousand dollar coilover system, they'll go ahead and just replace it with a new one or rebuild it. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Other than that, talk to y'all guys later. Peace.